the guy most people have at number one, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, MJ, the GOAT. Oh, this is going to be fun. Nick Jordan at three. Please explain yourself. Okay. Listen. Please. And here's where I think that I'm going to get a little agreement from Brew and maybe full agreement wow. from Kevin Wilds. Because every, nobody is shocked that I have Jordan behind LeBron. So I want to focus on the Kareem part of this. And where I think I'm going to get agreement from Brew is this. You can make a legitimate argument for three guys as the GOAT. LeBron, MJ, and Kareem. And if you're going to do that, one of them has to come in third. So a guy who could be the best ever is going to be, on some people's list, the third best ever. For me, that person is Michael Jordan. And here's where I think I'm going to sway Wilds. But, Brew, I know you're going to go next, but Wilds is living an open mind. Because I think I'm going to tell Wilds some things he might not know. So why do I have Kareem wow. ahead of Michael Jordan? Quite simply, he did so much more in the league. I've heard Kevin Wilds and others say, well, yeah, LeBron's 10 trips to the finals. If he had six rings with those 10 trips, then that would be more impressive than Jordan's six rings and six trips. Well, that's Kareem. 10 trips to the finals with six rings, and by the way, also six MVPs. What about scoring, which is what Jordan did best? Well, Kareem had the most unstoppable shot in NBA history. He also set the record for most points in a career before I was born and holds it to this day. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 15 seasons, finished top five in MVP voting. Michael Jordan did not play 15 complete seasons. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was first or second team All-NBA, 15 seasons. Michael Jordan did not play 15 complete seasons. What about as an old guy? Because I've heard you guys explain to me, oh, Jordan came back at 38 years old. And led the Wizards to 37 wins. Kareem, at 38 years old, won (laughs) finals MVP. Michael Jordan, at 40 years old, averaged 20 points per game for another 37-win Wizards team. Kareem, at 40 years old, averaged 22 points per game in the finals. And at 41, in a game six, had the final play of the game drawn for him. Hit two free throws, force a game seven, won another championship. So that's as an old guy. What about as a young guy, Brew? Both were drafted to 27-win teams. Michael took his 27-win teams to 38 wins. Kareem took his 27-win team to 56 wins. Wow, that seems impressive. Oscar wasn't there yet. Year two, by the way, Kareem won finals MVP, league MVP, greatest season arguably ever, 66 wins, Michael... Uh, was swept in round one and his team won 30 games. What about, what about, wait, is, is, that's youth. What about pre-youth? And again, it, it's, I, it's college and high school doesn't count pre-youth. here, but when it's this close, we're going to throw it in. Pre, yeah, in college, pre-youth. Michael Jordan was a really good player, good enough to go third in the draft. Kareem was 88 and two, oh. won player of the year all three years, <laughs> won championships all three years, and won final four MVP all three years. And then, oh, we want to go a little younger? Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in high school was 79-2. and two. Michael Jordan in high school was cut from his team. So, yeah, oh, I'm going to go ahead wow. and say Keep Kareem may be the better player. No, that's it. That's it. No, that's it. Okay, that's it, well, Kareem. Keep going. I'm going to make the case. Well, yeah, that that group, I, it's the audacious case that the guy with the most points, the most rings of the era, and the most league MVPs is better than Michael Jordan. It's an audacious case. But I just made it. It is audacious. And and look, Nick, I love, you know I'm the wise elder statement. I actually saw Kareem play, unlike you. I watched him live, all right? And I I like hearing you give him his love and his props. Okay, yeah, yes. I like hearing you give him his props. But, Nick, out of respect for Kareem and LeBron, I'm not going to call this ridiculous or ludicrous, or absurd. I'm just going to say you having Michael Jordan as the third best player ever, or really of the last 50 years. I don't know. Maybe you got uh, Kuzi or Petty no, ahead it would of, be of the, Jordan. No, no, no. All it would time. be okay? this is ever. Will, for this Will, top three, whatever. Yeah. Okay. No. But this is just wrong. You're wrong. You're flat out wrong. You're egregiously wrong. You're so wrong 
that all basketball friends, save you and, and probably Isaiah Thomas, my man, all right, from baby boomer, boomers to Generation X, Y, Z, Alpha, that's the new kids being born, they're all looking yeah. at this oh, like, what? Alpha. They're flummoxed. They're yeah. astounded. They're aghast. Nick, come on, man. Michael Jordan is not the second best player ever. And he's certainly not the third best player. Michael Jordan oh, we is the GOAT. Period. The end. No player, Nick, and you'll have to agree with this, has dominated the NBA like Michael Jordan has. Bill or Wilt Chamberlain did statistically, even more so. Sure. But he didn't win. Only two rings. Bill sure. Russell did in terms of winning even more so with 11. But he didn't dominate individually in terms of statistics. Only Michael Jordan has the incredible combination of individual statistical dominance and winning a ton of rings. All right, How let me see the screen. It? Check out this full screen. I'm about to show you. Yeah. Right here, LeBron, yeah, okay. Ka De uh, Kareem. I'm waiting for the screen. Can I see it? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, that's too Michael much. Jordan I can't read all did that. more. In fewer seasons. He, you're right. He only played 15 seasons. LeBron and Kareem, 8, 19, and 20. Jordan's got more rings than LeBron. He's got six of those categories, categories tied with Kareem for titles. Most three-peats. There have only been three in the last 50-some-odd years. Jordan's got two of them. Most yeah. finals MVPs. Uh -huh. League MVP, one below Kareem. Most scoring championships. Look, he led the league yeah. in categories 13 times. Kareem, seven. LeBron, two. Nine-time first-team all-defense. Right and then PER for the analytics nerds. He's the best ever. Yeah. All right, Kareem, <laughs> Nick, I, I don't want to take anything away from you. Kareem was not the best player on his last three championships. And arguably the last four. Because in 1982, Magic Johnson led the Lakers in rebounds. Rebounds. Assists and steals yeah. and average 18 points to Kareem's 23. So he, George, Magic was the finals MVP. So when, when Kareem was at his most dominant individually, he wasn't winning. He only won it with Oscar and Magic. And then he missed the playoffs twice at the height of his powers, yeah. once in 1975 and 1976. Yeah, once and his hand. in those two years, and when Kareem was most dominant individually, Nick, Guess what? I'm surprised you didn't know this as a historian. I half lot, of the best players the in the world. In the ABA. Half of I the know. best players, half of the best players in the world were in the ABA. No Dr. J, yeah. George Gervin, Dan, it's we could go on and on and on. Yeah. So you can't take that out of the conversation. And yeah. we saw Kareem get outplayed in playoff series. Moses in 81 and 83. I won't even mention Elijah Wine in 86. We never saw Michael Jordan get outplayed in the playoff series. A game, maybe, not a series. Jordan raised his oh, scoring by never? three points, his rebounds, and his assists never? in the playoffs. Kareem oh. actually dropped slightly in points, rebounds, and blocks in the playoffs. But yeah. essentially, it was the same yes, as his but, regular season. But Jordan yeah, lifted it up. Hold on. Hold it's, on. it's wild. It's not. Yeah, but that's it's because not even close, that's Come on. because nice the, the playoff stuff that I was knew unfair. You, but he was because cut. Jordan wasn't good enough. Hold on, hold on. Jordan wasn't good enough to at age forty to get to the playoffs. Kareem's first twelve years in the playoffs averaged a tidy thirty, sixteen, four, and three. Jordan, of course, only made the playoffs How many rings? thirteen seasons. You guys, you guys would count twelve though because you don't count the year that he played part of the season. Here's the problem though with Bruce graphic. I could also make a graphic if I wanted to tilt it because you didn't include finals appearances on the graphic. You did first team All NBAs instead of over All NBAs. Because it's about winning. Instead of overall, where Kareem has it's 11. It's about winning. No, I don't, don't show me. Don't show me Bruce. I almost graphic. included it but to give wild. LeBron one of the thing. categories. I want to show you something. I want to show Wild something sillier than than Bruce graphic, which is why I did the Kareem. <laughs> because can we show Those the, are the tweet? Key. Can Those we show are the, the key. tweet? Please, oh, the, your key categories, yes. This Wilds, is not, don't you think just well, that's maybe? Ridiculous. I agree with you on that. Wilds, don't you think j just maybe, this is the maybe thing ever. that? Of, I uh, agree yeah. with that. And Nick. don't you think maybe that has polluted America's in that everything being Jordan, 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 that 
Jordan was voted a better college player than Kareem. That's when ridiculous. Kareem was <laughs> the by 88 and 2 and was player of the year all three years, won national titles all three years. That may be wild. People are underrating Kareem. Is it possible, Wild? Okay. This is ridiculous, and you have a point. It was a big, it was so bad, it was a major news story, the results of this poll. Here's the thing it's hot in the summer. We're starting to, we're starting to turn our attention to fantasy football. And haven't you ever been in a fantasy football draft where you're getting all ready, and all of a sudden you look up at the end of round two, and it's like, oh, it looks like the person with the first pick has won. The reason I tell this story, Nick, is if you and I were out having a few cocktails, I say, hey, let's draft our the best players of all time. And like we were starting a team, but I get to go first. And I say, and I'll just according to you, I say, I'll take LeBron. And now you have Kareem and Michael Jordan on the board. Are you really going to say, yeah. oh, you know what? I'll take Kareem. How long so we then play I in have the LeBron league? and Jordan and you have Kareem. Would you actually do that? How long do we, how, is the league for, for one a year? Normal career. For one You're year, I would take Jordan. You're not taking Kareem over Michael Jordan. For one year, I take Jordan. But if I get I get twenty years of entire, Kareem, how about a seventeen decade? are outstanding? No, no. How about we go Kareem's whole Kareem career? Lee. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.